What's up guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. I wanted to talk about your journey. But more importantly, my journey. <laughs> Our journey. <laughs> but specifically my journey. <laughs> okay? It's not all about me, but right now it is. I'm gonna ask you some questions about you too, so don't worry. I wanna talk about what you find or what I find most difficult on my healthy journey. I don't actually know if I've covered this subject before, but I thought as I was going through the store just a few minutes ago, I figured out what it was. For me, it's two things. It's a severe lack of self-discipline, and it's also a severe act of impulsivity. I don't have to be hungry, okay? And I'll eat. I don't have to be hungry, and if somebody offers me stuff, it's sometimes, most of the time, it's difficult for me to say no. Self-discipline is something that's learned. I think I definitely have a hard time with self-discipline. For me, going into a store, being around all those foods and temptations, and it doesn't have to be bad foods. It's not like I think of instantly, oh, I need five candy bars. It could mean and I'm a sweets person, that's why I say that. Like, if, knock on wood, if I was going to die tomorrow, everything I would eat today would be sweets. I would not eat anything savory. It wouldn't be my thing. No reason to. Knowing that, when I go into the store, I don't crave those things right away. The first thing I think is, what can I get away with? Now, Trust me, this is me being vulnerable. I say, you know what? Can I fit some protein in? How about that fried chicken over there? Maybe a burrito. Maybe I can grab some fish sticks or something. They got protein in them. I start justifying all this crap. I need that. I just lifted. I need the strength. There's all these things that start coming into my head. And the difference between grabbing it and not grabbing it is a severe lack of self-discipline when it comes to my food choices. That's it. And being impulsive. Being impulsive, otherwise, I could just say, you know what? I'm going to walk right out of this store. No problem. But I see something and I want it. Now, I could blame it on bipolar. I could blame it on this. I could blame it on that. I will say I would imagine that it probably has a lot to do with moods and stuff like that. But if I were to get on a better schedule and have a better, proper uh, sleep patterns, more specific food times to eat and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't be in such a bad situation. If I got a little bit more clear with exactly what my goals are and got some more defined goals, I'd probably be in a better situation. I'm going to tell you right now. Self-discipline is something that I've worked on for many years. The hardest thing for me is when I have carbohydrates, say no to more. The thing is, when I'm low carb, say I'm Atkins 20, and I'm past that three or four days, I don't have temptations. I don't. That's why Atkins works so well for me. It's completely exclusional. But more importantly is... I don't have those blood sugar spikes and everything so that I'm not constantly wanting more carbs. A lot of people can differentiate in their mind, brain, body, physical makeup, whatever, the difference between rice and a donut. Here's the thing. If you give me a cup of rice, which is not my jam, but if you give me a cup of rice or a plain nasty freaking piece of bread or something, 10 minutes later I want five donuts. My mind 
seems to not understand how to differentiate the difference between five donuts and some nasty freaking carbohydrate food like uh, a tablespoon of brown rice or something like plain brown rice it spikes my blood sugar and my blood sugar wants to go back up so I have a difficult time having some carbohydrates without having all the carbohydrates so it's extremely hard when I go to the stores and I'm eating uh, carbohydrates and stuff like that you guys I try to learn all that I can about my journey I don't want to forever be like a slave of low carb only I have incorporated things and tried to figure out how to get them back in and stuff like that and I fail all the time like all the time I'm screwing up all the freaking time it's so freaking hard sometimes and that again is me being vulnerable but the, here's the thing if you don't screw up you don't know how to not screw up does that make sense I don't know what your challenges are your challenges might be emotional eating I don't get sad and be like I need to feed my face that's not my jam okay my jam is quantity of foods and just eating 24 7 I like volume of food I like volume of anything it could be broccoli it could be cheese it could be whatever so what I try to do is give myself enough volume of food while making sure the choice of food is as good as I could possibly make it. Now, eventually, soon, I think I'm kind of throwing around ideas of going back on induction. Eventually, um, I got some stuff planned for about five months out, thinking about going on a pretty big book vacation type thing. So at that point, I want to be in the best shape I possibly can. Here's the thing. What a lot of people don't understand, if you've had a weight issue, being in the best possible shape that you can, it's not just, let's diet down and everything will be fantastic. It's literally a life-altering, very, very, very challenging experience in order to be able to get those results. So I commend you. If you're busy getting results and you're doing well, fantastic. That is awesome. I'm working on it myself. Right now, I will be completely 100% honest. My food is about 80% and my training is 100. So I got another 20% to kind of get reined in and everything. The gyms are back open. I'm going to be able to increase my cardio, have a little bit more variation, a little bit more relaxation with my workouts and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that helps. I'm curious, what do you struggle with? What is, what is your struggle? Because opening it up and being honest with not only yourself but others really can get it off your chest sometimes. I struggle with the lack of self-discipline and impulsivity. That's it. I will walk by cookies. I'm not hungry. I don't want them. For some reason, why the hell did I grab them? It doesn't make any sense. But I get it. And I know that that's my weakness. So when I get those thoughts, I back out... <laughs> Sometimes when I get those thoughts, I'm so mad at myself. I will put everything back, even the stuff I needed, and just leave the store because I'm pissed off about my freaking brain being so damn weak sometimes. You guys, I'm curious. Tell me what you struggle with and what you do to be able to conquer those battles. This is the last week of the challenge, and going forward, it's important that you know what you suck at and what you need to work on. If you suck at something, you just got to work on it harder. And then you're going to get really freaking good at it. You guys, if you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Stay on track. Hashtag Team Boo. Thanks for watching.